is screen visible okay so what is the question yes we were at uh, unit number 3 controllability and observability so the question says uh, design a controllability and observability and also explain gilbert stress for controllability uh, for a diagonal form of the matrix or the question can be asked in another way for the system governing the following equation find controllability and then observability okay so equation what they have given y double dot plus 2 dy by dt plus y equals to u dot plus u given condition in the question itself is uh, x1 equals to y and x2 equals to y dot minus u now starting with the solution part solution for this is the given differential equation is so if uh, differential equation they have given in the question that the differential equation is given by so in the question the differential equation they have given the question is y double dot plus 2 dy by dt plus y equals to u dot plus u okay this is the question they have given i will rewrite this equation yes just now i have told you y double dot means second derivative of y and first derivative of y means dy by dt first derivative so can i write 2y dot yes obviously i can write plus y equals to u dot plus u u dot plus u is there any change in Uh, above equation no so i will name that equation number 1 so the given state variables are so the given state variables are so the given state variables yes given condition x1 equals to y x1 equals to y they have given and x2 is x2 equals to y dot minus u this is the condition they have given okay okay so now moving forward the condition with x1 equals to y and then x2 equals to y dot minus u okay now moving forward so from the above equation can i write from the above equation from the above given equation above given condition i can write yes x1 equals to y dot yes as uh, the uh, condition was given x1 equals to y so can i write x1 dot equals to y dot obviously i can write the given condition was x1 equals to y then i will be taking first derivative on both the sides so x1 dot equals to y dot and second condition that is x2 i will take x2 dot here so x2 dot equals to can i write y double dot minus u dot yes obviously i can write because i have done the first derivative of both the given condition my given condition was x1 equals to y so taking first derivative so this part they have come x1 dot equals to y dot and the second uh, second equation was given x2 dot equals to y dot minus u so by taking the derivative this is the equation what i have derived from here so now from above equation 
from above equations from above equation we have yes x1 dot equals to y dot equals to can i write x2 plus u from the given condition yes mark it as equation number 2 now now from equation number 1 see from equation 1 so from equation see y double dot here y double dot minus u equation 1 what was my equation 1 i am writing here separately okay this is my equation 1 y double dot plus 2y dot plus y equals to u dot plus u this was your equation number 1 so from equation number 1 y double dot minus u dot equals to can i write minus y minus 2y dot plus u yes i can easily write so now x2 dot next term therefore x2 dot equals to minus x1 minus two times i am making common here x2 plus u plus again u term okay so by simplifying this above equation x2 dot okay equals to minus x1 minus 2x2 yes minus 2u2 plus u means minus u minus 2u plus u it will be minus u so this is your equation number 3 okay so from equation 2 and 3 the state equation i can easily write so from equation 2 and 3 the state equation can be written as state equation can be written as written as yes state equation i can easily write from equation 2 and 3 here only i am writing okay just listen to me x1 dot x2 dot okay state equation i am writing see in equation 2 is there any x1 term there is no x1 term that's why here it will be zero x2 term is there coefficient is 1 now moving forward to equation 3 there is a x1 coefficient so minus 1 here and then minus 2 here into x1 x2 x1 x2 plus b b matrix i have to write in equation 2 there is coefficient of u that is 1 and equation 3 there is coefficient that is minus 1 into u so have you understood how i have written this okay also output equation y equals to x1 x1 now moving forward yes hence the output equation is hence hence the output equation is yes output equation i have to write y equals to 1 0 1 0 2 x1 and then x2 okay so mark it as equation number 5 so from equation 4 and equation 5 from equation 4 and 5 a matrix i can easily write a b c matrix a b and c matrix yes 0 1 this is my a matrix 
माइनस वन माइनस टू दिस इज ए मैट्रिक्स वट इज माई बी मैट्रिक्स यस इट इज अ कॉलम मैट्रिक्स वन माइनस वन बी मैट्रिक्स एंड वॉट इज माई सी मैट्रिक्स इज वन जीरो जस्ट नाउ आई हैलकुलेटेड सो दिस इज माई ए बी एंड सी मैट्रिक्स सो नाउ टू चेक कंट्रोलेबिलिटी एंड ऑब्जर्वेबिलिटी आई हैव फॉर्मूलाज ओके सो टू चेक द कंट्रोलेबिलिटी the controllability matrix would be according to gilbert space would be yes what is qc controllability matrix qc equals to b and ab yes b is to ab okay so i am having b matrix i will first uh, multiply this ab matrix here so what is my a matrix 0 1 -1 -2 this is my a matrix and what is my b matrix 1 -1 so multiplication of ab matrix it is coming as a column matrix that is uh, yes multiplied here would be -1 and then here would be -2 here would be 1 so b ab i am having so qc matrix controllability matrix qc equals to b ab So what is my B matrix? One minus one, and what is my AB matrix? Minus one, one. So I have written here. So it, here, its determinant it should not be equal to zero. Then I can say the uh, given given equation or given state model is fully controllable. So take the uh, determinant for this. So one into one, one, one minus one, zero. Yes, it is coming. So determinant of QC. Is zero. Hence, I can predict that. Hence, the system is not is not controllable. Controllable. So, have you understood why the system is uh, not controllable? Because the determinant of QC matrix it is coming as zero. That's why. That's why. the system is not controllable as a uh, mod of qc is zero that's why the system is not controllable now i will be checking the observability for the matrix okay now to check the observability now to check the observability of the system of the system in checking the observability yes you know that qo that is observability matrix it is c transpose is to a transpose c transpose okay so i am having uh, c matrix c matrix is 10 c is 10 so what will be c transpose c transpose would be 10 transpose means row becomes column i am having a matrix so taking a transpose so a transpose c transpose would be c A transpose matrix is nothing but zero one minus one minus two into one minus one one minus one. So C transpose A transpose into C transpose. So what will be the multiplication for this A transpose and C transpose matrix? Yes, A transpose matrix would be. Zero minus one, one minus two, multiply by yes C transpose. C transpose is one zero. So what is the multiplication of this A transpose and C transpose? It is zero one. Okay. So what will be Q zero now? Mod of Q zero. Q zero is nothing but you have to place all this. What is the C transpose? One zero. Okay. 
and what is this uh, uh, k transpose c transpose zero one so one minus zero determinant would be one minus zero so it is not equal to zero it is coming as one hence the system is completely observable hence the system is is completely observable observable okay as the determinant of q0 it is not equal to 0 hence the system is completely observable okay so that was that was the numerical regarding the differential equation type okay so have you understood